way that we work as humans isn't just like there's a problem in our life and we just we fix it. It's like there is a sequence that happens that creates the actions that we take. And in order to ever, ever change those actions, we have to look higher up to what essentially created the action exactly. or what we need to be doing first to create a new action. Yeah, the thing that probably no one wants to talk about. The, the why, thing that uh, no one wants to talk about. Yeah, yeah, mm -hmm. because that's the underlying core of maybe like our behavior yeah. is like the thought processes we have that lead us to the decisions, mm -hmm. right? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, so... I mean, just being in action feels good too. People are like, I'm getting things done, I'm making changes. But if we don't talk, talk about, which I alluded to a moment ago, if we don't talk about what's happening before the action, mm -hmm. we'll continue to land back in the old actions that we've always done because of what sets us up there. So the elephant in the room is like, what sets us up there? Yeah. Obviously, yeah. You, you know, you've spoken to it. Um, it's it's our thoughts, it's our beliefs, it's and. A lot of times it's our unconscious thoughts or our subconscious thoughts that we're just not even aware of or recognizing are actually happening in our brains. Okay. And so for every single thought that we have, and we were talking about this before we hit play here, but um, we have anywhere between 60 to 80,000 thoughts a day. People like me and you probably have 100,000 thoughts because we're just going and we're going. I love to, I want to escape my own mind sometimes. I, I love it, but I, you know. There's a lot. Yeah. And so for every single thought that you have, you have a feeling that's attached to it. Mm -hmm. So when you think I'm having fun right now, like you're gonna feel joyful, or you're gonna feel joyous or excited or whatever. There's always one feeling per thought. So for as many thoughts as you have, you have that many feelings as well. That feeling is what generates your action. So if you have a thought that's like, um, this is really hard, you're, you're not gonna create a feeling that's excited or motivated or like, you know, feeling empowered, you're going to have a feeling that tracks with this is really hard. Mm -hmm. And then the action that comes from that is, is absolutely tethered. So you can't have a thought that is like negative or, um, kind of just putting you in this place where you're not going to be productive or, or feel motivated and then try to do something that is productive or yes. disciplined or anything like that. It won't work. 